What's up guys, so it's been a minute since my last video. I just wanted to talk about DBS today and something I've noticed myself coming to realize. So, you know, I'm a practicer of Dannyism, term coined by Emish is live. Uh, pretty much Dannyism is when you, when you're entertained by something, you'll, you'll usually like it. And that's usually what I go by, you know, I'm entertained by what's going on in DBS. So um, I think it's okay. I understand it's not the best manga series out there. I understand that. But at the end of the day, I'm entertained by it, so I think it's all right. But, you know, recently, Emish has gotten into One Piece. And One Piece is my favorite shonen series out there. Like, it's my favorite manga and anime. I think it's the best. And granted, there's other people that, you know, I interact with on a daily basis that also like it. But Emish is one of my closest friends. So, to see him to start to pick it up, I got really excited. You know, now, why did he pick it up? He picked it up because, you know, he wasn't feeling DBS. It just disappointed him too much. And he always had this idea that, you know, uh, the characters look goofy, they look stupid, Luffy looks dumb. But DBS got to such a bad point that he was like, you know what, let me try One Piece. Let me see if it's actually as bad as I think it is. And he immediately liked it. I told him to start off at Marine Ford, and if he liked it, he could go back and, you know, read up to there and so on and so forth. You know, if he if he likes it at his peak, he's going to feel inclined to read it from the start or go back or whatever have you. So he started, and he really liked it. He liked Whitebeard. He liked the Jozu and Mihawk and all these characters, and it, he's having fun reading it. Then we watched Stampede, and he thought it was a really good movie. And then we watched Film Z, and although, you know, he didn't rate it as highly as Stampede, he still thought it was a good movie. So, with all that being said, we're actually having fun with a series, because, you know, we, we've been in some, some voice chats, and I've been reading the manga with him. We watched Stampede and Film Z together, and we're having fun with it, whereas... I can't remember the last time we actually had fun with Dragon Ball Super. You know, the Broly movie came out in 2018. And since then, it feels like it's been like a, a, a decline since where the hype and the enjoyment of Super for people has just continuously gone down and down and down and down. And you can, you can really see that, like... On uh, like Unreal Ents Discord server, right? Alex's server, where you know most of the time when we're talking about super and voice chat, you know I may not have many issues with it, but m most people just talk negatively about it. Like a lot of people are even saying that Dragon Ball is at its lowest point in history. So. Uh, I'm starting to find myself unable to engage in Dannyism, you know, because I'm actually having fun with a manga series. I'm actually having fun consuming a, a product now with, with one of my best friends. So although I, I might be entertained by what's happening in Super, I just I don't know if I can defend it anymore because they're just doing a lot of bad stuff. like. Compare Superhero's promotion to Film Red's promotion. Like, Superhero did some um, biscuit wafer sticker things, whatever they're called. Um, and they did this here, and there's some guidebooks, blah, blah. One Piece Film Red is literally releasing lingerie to promote the movie. They, they're releasing lingerie, jackets. Uh, they're releasing, like, guidebooks and stuff. Um, during the world premiere a few weeks ago, they had all the voice actors there dressed up like characters from the movie. The stadium was packed. They're partnering with Mercedes-Benz and 7-Eleven. They're just doing a bunch of crazy stuff. And then I look at Super and it's just... It's just there. Like, I enjoyed Superhero. But I can't sit here and deny the writing on the wall that a lot of people didn't like it. I can't sit here and deny that the marketing was bad, because it was. I can't sit here and deny that Super isn't in a good place. 
the series is being majorly mishandled. And then at San Diego, San Diego Comic-Con, you have the whole thing with Chris Sabat saying there's going to be no spoilers. Meanwhile, Cell Max is posted up behind him. And then they announce that Akira Toriyama pretty much may be dead because his son is the one now handling his legacy. Now, obviously, he's probably not dead, but you get the point. He's He seems to be effectively no longer part of this thing, of, of Super, if he's, having, if he's having his son take over. Like, Dragon... And then you have the Breakers, of all things, coming out. It's something that the company themselves don't even seem to have faith in. Like, it's a glorified graphical update for Xenoverse 2. So I, I just I don't I don't know about Super anymore, guys. I just don't know. You know, I, I look at I look at it, then I look at what One Piece is doing, and you know the the thing is, it feels like the company and the writer and the artist and just all the people involved with One Piece actually care. Like when I'm consuming One Piece, I feel like they care. Like hell, Oda went on a month break after one of the recent chapters. This dude has been going like straight for nearly 25 years. Like he does not take breaks. He'll take a one week break then get right back to it the next week. Um, but he took a month break. And even in that break, he still was releasing content for us. He released four volumes uh, or four chapters worth of like concept art and stuff that didn't make it into the story for us. During his break, he was on break and still giving us content. So it, it just it feels like they actually care. Whereas you go and you look at Dragon Ball, it's like it doesn't feel like the executives care. It doesn't feel like Toriyama cares. It doesn't feel like Toyotaro cares. It doesn't feel like any of these people actually care about the product they're producing. Now I've never been the biggest fan of Dragon Ball. I love the original series. Z is kind of hit or miss for me, and Super, it is what it is, and GT is, is likewise is what it is, but at the, at the end of the day, like, I can't look at Dragon Ball Super or just the series overall right now and say they care, because they obviously don't. They're just trying to milk it for money, and, you know, honestly, guys, I, I know that, you know... I don't know how many of you are watching this right now, but I would highly suggest dropping Super and going and consuming a series where the people actually care about it, where they actually care about you, the fan, where they actually want to entertain you. Because let me tell you now, Super ain't that. They couldn't care less about you. But anyway, this has probably been long and rambly, and I'm just probably saying a bunch of bs right now so i'll just leave you guys with this thank you for watching if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it uh if you want to leave a comment go ahead if you want to call me stupid go ahead i don't care i just would like to have a conversation with my viewers so again thank you for watching have a great day wreck and rule